Hello and welcome to the building of the Ben Buckle Falcon. As you can obviously see, the model's been covered now. It's had two coats of shrinking dope and it's time to add a little bit of colour to liven this thing up. Now I've already made a start and I've actually done the horizontal stabiliser and I hope you can see there I've picked out a nice fetching deep blue that I had mixed up at the local DIY store B&Q. Uh, cost me all of £3. There's actually probably enough paint to paint one of these walls so I'm not going to use very much of it. It's an emulsion paint, what I think they call latex in the USA. Goes on nicely, that's had three coats. It's all going to be fuel proofed anyway when it's finished so it doesn't really matter the medium that I use to apply the paint. So that's the tail surface is started and I thought I'd show you how I go about producing nice crisp lines uh, between the colours. In this case the, there's only one colour because I would like to leave this in this translucent uh, fabric colour. This will be blue but what you always need to be careful of is bleed under the masking tape. Now I've already applied masking tape for where I want the blue to be, the boundary. I've used this, which I actually pur purchased from Amazon, a whole pack of it. It looks very much like a Tamiya copy tape, but I can't rely on the tape alone to guarantee a crisp uh, distinction between the paint and the non-painted areas. And what I don't want is paint creep underneath this tape. So the secret is, to actually paint along the edge the colour that underlies or lies adjacent to the one you want to produce. Now, this could be, let's say, white or grey or yellow for that matter. And then the thing to do would be to paint along this edge in blue or grey or yellow. And then any creep that goes underneath matches the, the fabric behind or the surface behind. Because I'm going for a natural dope finish here, what I'm going to do is paint along this edge just one line of dope, thin down dope, which will seal the edge of the tape. So if I do that, and then we come back, we'll start the painting show you that going on and then we'll see what it's like when it gets taken off. Okay, I've sealed the edge with clear dope so that it matches the fabric on that side. Now I'm going to start giving it some paint and obviously you don't want to watch me painting so I'll do that as a time lapse. And when all, the, all of that's finished we'll go to the reveal when I peel off the mask and hopefully we'll end up with a nice crisp sharp line. completed. I'll do the other couple of coats that will be necessary and then we'll finish off with a little bit of a video of the removal of the tape and we'll see how things have gone. Here we go then. That's the final coat applied and it's dried. I'm now going to remove the mask and tape and if all's gone well we'd be left with a nice crisp clean line without any bleed going underneath. Pulling it back on itself. I'm actually going to go the other way because that side. And 
And there we go. I hope you can see that I've got a nice clean, crisp line with no bleed. And that's because I painted the dough up along the edge of the masking tape before I did the blue. It doesn't have to be dope. If it was a different colour, you would paint the lighter colour over the top of the masking tape. So that any bleed would give a nice, crisp, clean line. I hope that's useful. And I hope that means that if you're going to do any masking like this, you too can end up with a beautiful, crisp line. Thanks for watching. Take care now.